Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and this is part two on how to turn off and on the GUI uh, within Windows Server 2012. On part one, guys, I showed you how to turn off the GUI using the server manager, rebooting yourself uh, to the core version, which I am on now. So what I'm going to do now, guys, I am going to show you a little bit of PowerShell to get yourself back up and running with the GUI. Uh, meaning if you do not like using the core, you're not a huge fan of command line prompts, uh, and you want to get back into that GUI interface, I'm going to show you how to do it. So let's get started. So first thing you want to do once you are here, you want to do a PowerShell command. Hit enter. And the way that you know that you are in PowerShell is that you got that PS right next to the command prompt. And the first command that you want to do is add dash windows features there you go Ooh. okay space server dash gui shell comma space server dash gui dash m g m t dash i n f a and we are going to hit enter oh so I'm, uh, i got a little error which is okay and the reason why i got an error is because i spelled it wrong it's supposed to be f r a and i'm going to do that one more time for it to start collecting the data and installing itself and once the installation is completed it's not going to reboot automatically, so what you probably want to do is uh, shoot a restart command, which I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And we are back. So I got the warning that I have to restart, and once I restart the core server 2012 machine, uh, basically my virtual machine, uh, I would be back into my GUI, graphic, graphic uh, user interface, and I'm going to do a shutdown space dash r because I want to restart and the time is going to be zero because I want it to do right away and as you can see it's configuring itself and once it's completed I should be able to log in into my Windows Server 2012 inside the GUI and we are back guys so it's restarted and installed all the features it takes a while uh, so once you get to this point it looks like it's good to go I'm gonna send a control alt delete command and I'm going to log into my server. And if everything goes well, I shouldn't be uh, getting a command prompt. I should be getting the nice little interface that everyone is so comfortable with. And as you can see, I'm getting my little desktop feature back up and running. And that's a good thing. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this part two. And uh, on part three, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the GUI using PowerShell to get into core. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please give me thumbs up. Please comment on the video. Please Twitter it. Please Facebook it. And I catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.